Our Father in heaven, we bless you, we bless your name. We glorify your name for giving us the grace and opportunity to be here this weekend. Father, bless us. May this weekend a blissful weekend for us. Everything we lay our hands upon to be successful and the goodness of God to be in our life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Saturday, May 27, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you up on heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our cup storm, let's see. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is a heaven language. Hallelujah song we never say for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is children as divine weapons. Children as divine weapons. I remember when first I be found the book of Isaiah 8, verse 18. I read Behold, I and the children who the Lord are giving me are for signs and wonder in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelt in Mount Zion. Behold, I and the children who the Lord have given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwell it in Mount Zion. Divine weapon may appear so ordinary that enemy often but belittle and despise them. However, to their detriment, examples of such weapon in the Bible include the rod of Moses, Exodus 14 verse 13 to 16, the shout of Hallelujah that brought down the wall of Jericho in Joshua 6 verse 20, prayer and praise that caused the chain of Paul, Silas, and all other prisoners to be broken, as 16 verse 25 to 26, and many more. This example shows how divine weapon that seem unimportant to the enemy we are deployed to accomplish great victory for the people of God. We also have clear example of what happened when children are used to symbolize divine weapon. Psalm 127, verse 30 to 5 says, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb in his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemy. The above verse confirm that though children have biological parents, they have also divine origin. Children are compared with arrow, which require more skill, craftsmen, and training before they can be used effectively. So also children need the knowledge of the word of God, good education, discipline, and godly upbringing to assume the leadership position that God has installed for them. The passage tells us that they shall speak with enemy in the gate. In Bible days, the city gate was like a public square, the garden place where either sat to settle disputes, render judgment, and make important decision. Boaz said to this issue of his marriage to Ruth at the city gate in Ruth 4 verse 1 to 6. Parents of godly children have nothing to be ashamed of. They can move about with their head, head up, high at any public gathering. Godly children and indeed weapon in the hand of God. Baby, I want us to read the book of Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5, and a Bible in one year, Job 1 to 4. Our hymn is in 13. Jesus loved me, 
This I know. Jesus love me. This I know. Our prayer point. Father, please let my children born and unborn become powerful divine weapon in Jesus' name. Father, please let my children born and unborn become powerful weapon, divine weapon in Jesus' name. And I pray heaven will help you. Heaven will make you to be conqueror in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love World. I come your way tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share it with your friends and family. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now. Goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.